I think in simplest terms, cloud computing is simply storing things on someone else's hard drive. Um, it used to be that we store everything on our own hard drive. Uh, now we have big data centers where we can store things. And for a lot of reasons, that's very convenient to do. I think um, we're in a tough economic time. I think government um, is always looking ways for ways to save taxpayers money. And um, using cloud computing resources uh, can, can make all of our different operations more efficient. I think on the flip side, uh, cloud computing creates big opportunities for small companies to do things very fast. And you can start um, a, a very vibrant uh, startup company using cloud computing resources without buying them all yourself. And some of those kinds of companies are helping the government out a lot now. We're just about ready to stand up a new blog about the public sector and technology and innovation, how it's affecting the public sector. And we built it on WordPress, which is a really terrific blog platform. However, it, is use, it does operate using open source technology. And what we wanted to do was show that that open source technology was interoperable with Microsoft's cloud computing platform, Windows Azure. And so we're on the verge of being able to launch a site which is based on open source code in a proprietary cloud platform. And we think that this will serve as an example for um, government leaders who are um, pr proponents of open government and launching blogs uh, to host their stuff in uh, the Microsoft platform. With the launch of my new website, one of the advantages of having it on something like Azure is that if were we to break some important news or have a particularly interesting article, um, we would be able to handle the kind of traffic spike um, that could come, and we wouldn't have to worry about do we have enough servers in my in my back room. But there there are enough servers; we can be confident of that. And I think that for governments, um, that is a particularly important selling point because they do issue new reports and have other breaking news where they get a one day spike or one week spike, and then they don't need all that space anymore. They don't need all the all the spare cycles. I I really feel that there there is some disconnect between. Um, the, the so-called technology community and the so-called government community in one big respect, uh, and that is mobile. We, we have apps contests, we have innovative companies from Silicon Valley and elsewhere developing new kinds of technologies. A lot of that is cloud-based, a lot of that is mobile-enabled, um, and yet we have government employees that are fairly important people that um, don't have the technology to be able to take advantage of that. And so I'm curious to see um, when that disconnect gets repaired and when we sort of modernize not just the computers and the laptops but also the phones and smartphones and related accessories that government employees use.